Hey guys, uh, today um, I'm doing a review of my Honda CBR 3000. Um, I recently purchased this about two weeks ago from a local Honda dealer. And uh, just wanted to give you all an outer uh, review of how, and I wanted to, you know, discuss how it, how it looks from the outside. And I will uh, start it up uh, with also just a second, the car, let the car go. So, yeah, so I will also be, uh, um, um, you know, we'll start it up and um, uh, we'll show you the sound and uh, some, of, some of the basic functions that I'm familiar with so far. Um, so, as you can see, uh, this is Honda CBR 3000. And um, I, uh, the retail MSRP was about 5000 and then I uh, uh, paid another 1000 on top. That was for uh, freight and assembly for the dealership, and um, then some taxes and title fee. So it came around 6700 This model is actually 2021. I actually went in to get 2022, but they were out of it. And the, the price difference between the two was only $100. Uh, so this one is 2021 and if you compare it with the design of 2022 uh, the only thing that I was able to uh, identify the difference between the two is the uh, the side mirrors the side mirror arms were a bit shorter on 2022 versus uh, 2021 so anyway this is the side view uh, you can see it does have a passenger which is pretty standard see that's the fuel tank right there uh, that's the gear shift Right there, it's on the side stand. The second uh, passenger uh, pedal uh, foot stand is right there. Towards the back, um, we got the uh, license plate today, so that's what I installed in. And uh, that's the, the uh, what do you call it, exhaust or uh, a big uh, bike. And uh, that's the engine right there. And uh, so there are two, uh, so that's where the fuel, that's the oil cap right there. That's where you. Uh, put the new oil in and um, another thing that uh, I was uh, told at the time uh, at the dealership was uh, how to check the levels of the coolant in it and the brake fluid so the coolant as you can see it's right there so as long as it stays between upper and lower uh, we are good with the coolant and uh, for the uh, that's where the uh, brake fluid is so uh, but in order to check it, you need to make it stand straight up so you can see where it is. Um, the, that's where it shows up currently on the side stand. Um, the, the, you, you won't be able to tell what the actual levels of the fuel is, of the brake fluid is, or the coolant is. Uh, so that's the, the side uh, view of the bike. Uh, pretty decent in size. And uh, I really like the color and the and uh, you know the the overall look of the bike. Uh, so it does have two lights in the front. And so when I got it, uh, only the one of the light was working. And I was kind of oh uh, maybe that's uh, something is wrong with the bulb. Uh, but uh, after research, I was able to understand that uh, on low beam only one of it works. On high beam is actually when uh, both of them works. Um, so, uh, uh, I think, uh, let me see what else I can uh, share with you all on this, uh, bike. So, um, yes, uh, right here is the tools and the booklet. And in order to open that up, uh, that's where the key is. You key in right there and you'll see it will pop up and right there, it did pop up. And you just um, lift it up, and uh, that's where the booklet and the tool sets are. I have the booklet inside, not in here right now. And the same way, you just click it back in. Let me see. Let me put it back in the position. And there you go. So that clicked back in. Yep. It's right there. So uh, other than that, uh, that's the fuel. Uh, I got a full tank, have not yet um, opened it up, but let's do it for the first time. Let's see 
how does it open up okay right there so that's how you just put the fuel in and uh oh i could smell it so let me see let's try to close it up oh and it just yep it is closed right yep so uh other than that uh you can see uh, on the on the excuse the sound it looks like that the car again the kid is just trying to show off and all. um so uh so let me sit on it and let me uh turn it on and we'll see how the sound comes up sorry about the camera i just got this um um phone stabilizer i'm still trying to get myself around on how to act actually use it so anyway so oh it's kind of windy outside uh let me see so here let me sit on it so here i am and uh and so currently it's in lock so what how you lock is is that you turn it all the way to the left and you push it and bring it to the lock and it just locks itself same way i'll push it i'll do it and there you go it's on right now so now i can actually make it straight on that so as you can see that's the meter right there um i don't have many miles because i actually just drove a day or two it's got the 439 miles it is currently in neutral and uh so here's the high beam the low beam the horn and indicator so you press it and you give left indicator you press it and you give right indicator so that's how it works um, this cab actually comes off and you can actually install some of the uh, like a phone mount or something similar to that over here um, the engine light is right there uh it's telling me it's currently on high beam so i did turn that off it's currently on neutral and uh, and right there is the engine strut and i'm not sure i never tried that i think that's probably the the engine turn off and all probably that thing so let me turn it on and there you go it's on right now so as you can see, while it's in neutral, it doesn't make much of a sound, uh, but uh, I'll try to give it a gas and we'll see how loud it gets. That's pretty much how loud it gets. Uh, it's not the loudest uh, motorbike, you know, of course the engine with uh, 300 cc, uh, uh, but uh, it's got a pretty decent sound. and. Uh, mileage as well the fuel consumption i mean the fuel consumption as well so i've just turned it off let me try to put it back into the lock so it is locked the stand is still there so let me put it back in the stand so you can see um so that was a brief review of uh on the cbr 3000 r uh if you have any comments to the video, if you want me to discuss any further things on this bike, uh, want to see something or get a review of, uh, uh, you know, something like my personal experience of how it's been going so far, uh, let me know. But so far, I haven't driven it much, but uh, I am really enjoying it. So let me give you a close up of the side. And you can see it says CBR. 300 r it does say honda right there and uh i and another honda symbol right there a honda text right there and uh another cbr 300 r the honda text is right there and uh, yep that's the signals to the right and left and that's the front so i hope you guys like the video and um, as much as i love my motorbike you know 
So I hope you guys liked the video. Um, leave a comment or press the like button if you do. And let me know if you want to know any more details about this motorbike. All right. Have a good one. Thank you.